Hi everybody! Welcome to Now You're Cooking. We're going to be making holiday cookies tonight with a really special guest. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Thanks for coming, I know. <laughs> this is a really busy time for you. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Wouldn't want to miss some cookies. <laughs> you have to get ready for all the cookies you're going to eat. Christmas I have marriage. to practice. <laughs> If I do it in one night, I might hurt myself. Oh, okay, this is good insight. <laughs> uh, so, some of you may know, but in case you don't, we've been working with the Bath Elementary um, PTA, and they put together these really cool cookie kits. So, in them, there's information about um, old-fashioned Christmas, and then there's all the ingredients to make this recipe that I'm going to make tonight. And it even has a little cookie cutter, some frosting, and the best part, some sprinkles. So you can come pick those up here at Now You're Cooking. We still have plenty and they're free, so come grab them. Okay, let's get started. Um, so I've put in, uh, I've doubled the recipe that's in the, the bag. So um, in case you're making it along at home, this is why there's more butter in here. I put two sticks of butter <laughs> in my mixer and we're just gonna do a process called creaming. So the butter's been sitting out so it's nice and soft. It's getting even softer because the blades are mashing it. And so I'm adding to that a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna beat it in my stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer or your hands with a wooden spoon um, until it's nice and light and fluffy. So usually in a stand mixer it takes about two minutes but in our fancy smeg mixer it might be faster. Is your sled all ready to go? Speaking of cool machines. Just a few bits and bobs to throw on the back. <laughs> good good I like to know that you're ready. You probably have done this many times, so you're very well prepared for... More, than, yeah. more years than I can count! <laughs> Good. <laughs> Do you ever come to Now You're Cooking and go shopping? Oh, I wouldn't want to reveal that. There'd be <laughs> too much of a crowd. True, true. <laughs> we appreciate that. Speaking of crowds, next week we're going to be open until 7 p.m. every night, Monday through Thursday, and tomorrow, which is Friday. So if you work until 5 p.m. you can come over here after we're open extended hours I'm turning it up so we're really getting some nice fluffy butter and sugar okay I think that's good for our demo I've put in um, three cups of flour three uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. The nice thing about this mixer is it has a really low setting and it makes it so you don't splash flour everywhere. Which is always good. So we just get that mixed in. Just a minute or so. I'm gonna grab a spatula. Scrape the sides down, even though this mixer, you can see this is a special beater that not a lot of other mixers have. That's really good for cookie dough. So it scrapes as it goes around the bowl. So I'm just gonna do a little scraping down here. How are the reindeer doing, Santa? They'd be very jealous <laughs> if they knew I was having cookies tonight. Do they eat cookies? Yes. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> I've always given them carrots, so it's good they have balance. Okay. There we go. It's coming together. Okay, so now I'm going to put in an egg and also you can use either a 
The recipe doesn't have this. I just like to add it, either a teaspoon of vanilla or almond extract. We always use almond extract in my family's recipes. So I'm gonna use that. And I also, in the fridge, forgot a little something, so I'm gonna grab it. It's the milk. It's easy to forget because there's only a tablespoon of it. Mmm, um. milk! <laughs> Do you like milk, Santa? <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, we don't need to add it because I can't find it. That's okay. I got thirsty earlier. <laughs> yeah. making cookies live with Santa. <laughs> okay, so that's done. What I'm gonna do is, I've already prepared this earlier, and a lot of people, so I what I would do is take this, put it in plastic wrap, put it in the fridge for two hours, and then take it out and roll it out. That's what I would have done, but I learned this new technique, and so I'm gonna share it with you because it's really helped me. So you take two sheets of parchment, and I take the dough right from the bowl and put it in between them, and then just roll it out. And so you don't use any extra flour, or some people use powdered sugar, but uh, it doesn't affect the um, dough as much. And because I feel like sometimes I add too much flour and then it's too um, crumbly or not enough, then it sticks. But this, it's so easy. Then you put it right into the fridge and take it out like I just did. Then it's ready to be cut out. So it just makes it so much easier. I don't know why I didn't know about it, but I'm sharing it with you, so now you know. Do you have a favorite cookie cutter cheese? Probably a tree. <laughs> a tree, okay, good. <laughs> That's why I chose these ones. <laughs> See? So easy, so clean. That parchment paper really makes a big difference. And you could even put them in the freezer and uh, if you didn't want to do the whole process uh, in one go, you could put them in the freezer and then take them out uh, a couple days later and they'd be really ready to go. So then you can re-roll, put them in the fridge. It's cold enough that I could just re-roll this between the sh two sheets and then um, cut them out again just make it into a ball um, but if you I don't know only wanted to make a small batch you could um, put it back into the fridge and then do it later so you just smash it down and then just roll it between the two sheets it's really so easy and then I use I found it was a little bit slippery just the sheets on um, my counter so with this baking mat, the silicone baking mat, it makes it um, not move around. So then, yeah, ready to make some more. But I'm gonna put these in the oven. Uh, I have it on 375. I'm gonna put them in there for about seven to eight minutes. Our oven's a little hot, so I'll probably check them in six. Uh, and this is what they look like. So I like my cookies probably a little bit thicker than other people, but um, I like a good weighty cookie. What's your preference, Santa? The weightier the better. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, so I've already mixed up some frosting here. This is just confectionery sugar, powdered sugar, and a little bit of milk, and then I put um, some vanilla in in mine. and. I wanted to show you this because this is how I filled it. So I took the bag, the empty bag, put it in, you could put it in a jar or um, a bowl, and then just put the, the icing in. It just makes it so much easier to do if you have it in there rather than trying to like put it in, um, or holding your hands, it can be really messy. Um, so let's just test this. Okay, so now it's time to decorate them. So Santa, I need your help here. So if you could hold that. So I'm gonna make this, I saw this um, decoration online, like you do. And so I thought it would be easy and pretty to re recreate. So 
what you do is you take, put some, uh, and it's okay if it's messy. It's a little messy. The, we'll spread it out and it'll look fine. It's a very forgiving decorating technique. I'll take that, Santa. That. And then you just go like this. And then we need some special magic on there. So if you could just take a little, like a little magic on there. Thank you, Santa. Then we'll do it again. Some blobs. Do it again. More, please. Thank you. All right. Again. <laughs> Our ratio of uh, glitter to <laughs> frosting is quite high, which I like. I love sprinkles. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Maybe one more? They make the season bright. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Then you do a little dust off, and then you have it. A little snowy Christmas tree. And then we have some fun sprinkles here that are bigger, so you could put a little star on top. And then if you wanted, you could put some ornaments. So yeah, super simple. Super easy, and I just love sprinkles and glitter. And we have a lot of sprinkles here and a lot of fun cookie cutters, so come on down. All right, how do those look to you, Santa? Let's dig in. <laughs> Let's dig in. Let's get the party started. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. I've got to be careful not to get the frosting in my beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can just show it. Maybe you can. Uh, <laughs> maybe you can bring some home to Mrs. Claus. She'd like that. <laughs> she would. Okay, good. All right. Thanks so much for uh, joining us tonight. <laughs> we'll see you in the skies. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Thank you.